Welcome to our Flight Day 9 highlights. Uh, here's Roberto on the mid-deck. Uh, this was a busy day of uh, a lot of work on board the station. And uh, here's Mark uh, getting some exercise in. Yeah, on the flight deck when uh, the spacewalkers are getting ready for uh, EVA the next day, um, Mark and Roberto and I spend a lot of time, this is box talking, uh, for example, filling CWCs. There you see a, a water bag. It's about a 100-pound water bag now, and it's timed uh, to be uh, the, the fill to be terminated at, at a particular time. So I'm squeezing out some video just before the, uh, the end of the fill. We're, uh, here you are, and uh, from Node 2, we're going into the PMM. It's a logistics module, and uh, this is really conveniently located for us for uh, EVA preparation. There's Mike and Drew. Um, we're, we're preparing here. I was in there with them earlier this morning. This is Greg, Paz. Uh, we're setting up for EVA 3, which is tomorrow, and uh, there's a lot of work to prepare for an EVA each day. There's the suits have to be reconfigured and uh, prepared. And then we have a lot of tools to set up. And then all the specific things for the EVA. Uh, this particular spacewalk, uh, something that uh, they're handling right now, is setting up um, it's an attachment mechanism for the station robotic arm and, uh, to be able to, to basically walk off to the Russian side of the uh, space station. Uh, our, our robotic arm can move from one place to another uh, end over end. And uh, this will allow us to uh, use our robotic arm for tasks on the Russian side of the space station. So uh, that's one of the major tasks. The other thing we're doing is setting up some wiring to give uh, some extra redundancy and power to the uh, Russian side. We send power that direction from our solar rays, and uh, some rewiring will make that uh, more redundant. Um, and uh, Box was in there, too, this morning. Yeah, Roberto and I spent a lot of time uh, milling around uh, among those bags in the PMM, kind of on a reverse Easter egg hunt. Uh, we had a big basket of eggs, and we were delivering eggs to the different spots. And I zoomed in on the end cone there where we were trying to find a real troublesome bag today. There's some uh, two or three dozen bags in the back of the uh, PMM, and uh, we were able to find it. And then we went across to the other side where we found Taz uh, busy at work. You know, he spent six months on the space station. And now he's using some of his expertise to help the guys up here uh, while we're visiting. Yeah, this was a lot of fun. Uh, he's getting a chance to do some uh, maintenance, get behind the racks. Uh, I did a lot of this on uh, my last expedition. And uh, this particular rack is the uh, OGS, it's the oxygen generation system. Actually, this is the kind of thing you would use on, on Mars. Uh, this is the back of the rack. As you can see, it's very complicated in there. We, uh, um, here it's uh, giving us back some additional oxygen. Uh, we otherwise would be wasting. Now you can just see the uh, mid-deck uh, there, uh, the activity going around. I think they've been on the bike now for almost 30 uh, minutes. You can see he's starting to get tired, um, and uh, but he is uh, given instructions even when he's uh, exercising. Completing our uh, video of the uh, mid-deck operations, we see uh, Mark over here uh, checking the uh, flight plan on a laptop. And there goes the CWC. The last thing that has to happen is this thing has to be transferred to the ISS. You can see this is technical water with a green tag. And off we go to the space station. It's kind of hard to maneuver it with one hand, but there it goes, the life of a CWC going into the space station. And off we go, it's kind of a heavy bag. And the arrival of the CWC into the gem, beautiful laboratory. Oh, check out the keyboard I found the other day, um, which is a different story. We actually had a band going the other night before Katie left. But here's where the CWCs are, and no, not down there. You're actually going up here. So thanks, Drew, for the help with the CWC. It's kind of heavy, man. I'm going to hey, pass. Oh, what's that? Check out this keyboard I found. Uh, you didn't <laughs> found it. I found it. <laughs> I'm a musician. Come on. It's got some good songs you haven't played it. it yet. Come on. It works though. I've got a couple of good songs that I uh, remembered from before. Um, let me see if I can remember them. Ready? But real quickly, what happened the other night before Katie left? How's that? <laughs> That's the preset recording. Key, did you? <laughs> <laughs> Come on, I'm in Max Q. I sub as the keyboard player sometimes. 
<laughs> All right, turn off that okay. thing. <laughs> okay, so the other night, uh, I think we filmed it. Uh, we had a little concert, and uh, Box was playing keys. Katie played the flute, and uh, I played guitar, and we played uh, Brown Eyed Girl. And I didn't remember a lot of the chords. <laughs> yeah, and, and even though I've sung it for the last 10 years uh, with the band, I forgot the second verse, but only part of it. So, you know, I guess uh, that's what happens in space, you know. Actually, it happens to me on Earth, too, but... <laughs> But we you know, we had a nice little song, and everybody, everybody enjoyed it. And we had a little concert for folks. Yeah. But I would, I was at a loss for where to put the keyboard, and uh, so I had it laying uh, on the deck there on that flat uh, bag, MLA, MLE bag over there. Um, but uh, it was in the way, and so then I realized, hey, you can put it on the wall, you know. Right. And it actually worked better with those diagonal uh, bunchy chords. Right side down, upside, right side up, upside down, whatever you want. Hey, Fox, tell us about this. Oh, yeah, I've been telling them about the CWC. You know, this is the final resting pace, place of uh, CWC number six. It's full of water. It's full of water, man. It's got like, what, 100, 150 pounds of water in it? Uh, let me see. I can, I can, that's about what I can dumbbell lift. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's good. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're out of here. <laughs>